Hey everyone, Keenan Crow here, and today we are talking about MIDI Clock and how you can use it to synchronize hardware to software so that you can take a beat that you've created in your DAW and then go over to your guitar rig and create a loop on your loop pedal that will synchronize perfectly. If you've seen my previous video on MIDI, then you know that MIDI Clock is a kind of language shared by different devices that's used to communicate tempo information. Once the devices are all locked into the same tempo, there's no worries about them drifting out of sync or having to do some sort of button presses with superhuman accuracy in order to get those two loops to sync together. Now, in order to set this up, you're gonna need a few different things. Number one, you're going to need a computer and a digital audio workstation. Now, it doesn't really matter if you use Mac or PC, and it doesn't really matter which digital audio workstation you choose either. I'm gonna use Ableton Live today, but feel free to just take the concept and translate it into whatever program you prefer. Second thing you're gonna need is a MIDI-enabled loop pedal. Now, this is not a standard feature. There are very few loop pedals out there that even have MIDI inputs, and even fewer that accept MIDI MIDI clock sync commands. Today I'm using the TC Electronic Ditto X4, but there are several other options out there including the Boss RC500, the Boomerang, and the Pigtronics Infinity series that all accept MIDI clock. If you're interested in seeing if your pedal supports this, look for a MIDI port somewhere on the pedal. If you've got one, check your manual for something that says either MIDI clock or MIDI sync. Now the third and final thing you're going to need is something to connect your DAW to your pedal, and the cheapest, easiest thing to accomplish that is a MIDI to USB cable. Now I'll be using the Roland U M1 today, but again, pretty much any USB to MIDI cable can get the job done. So get your MIDI cable plugged in via USB and install any drivers necessary for your computer to recognize it. Over on the pedal side, the MIDI output cable goes into the MIDI input on your looper. Although just double check your manual to be sure because some of these labels are not standardized and it can get confusing. Once everything is connected and installed, we want to head over to our digital audio workstation and enable it to send a signal to our device. So here in Ableton, we're gonna open the preferences menu, head to the link and MIDI tab, find the output for our MIDI to USB cable, and enable the sync option. Once this is done, when we hit play in our Ableton set, it immediately starts sending a clock signal over to the looper, which you can see indicated on the ditto by the blinking light over the stop switch. Now, when we start or stop a loop, the pedal will calculate which beat it's closest to, and it will only allow you to start or stop from that beat. So you'll have perfectly timed loops that line up with everything in your DAW, and they won't drift out of sync over time. So there you go. If you've got the right equipment, it really is that easy to sync it all together and start live looping with all your devices in time. That's what makes MIDI Clock so powerful and why you should start using it if you aren't already. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this content, please like and subscribe so that you get future tutorials, and I will see you then.